Hi again guys, welcome to your October weekly reading. This reading is going to be from October 18th, which is Monday, to October 24th, which is Sunday. Of course, you guys know these readings are ultimately timeless and signless, so I guess it doesn't matter when you're actually watching it. If you're watching it, that means you've been able to magnetize it and there are messages in here for you. But my intention is for it to be for this upcoming week. And yes, we're just going to have to go with this nail polish. <laughs> I just received it in the mail and I'm like, I'm trying it. It's Halloween. We can get away with it. <laughs> Whoa, what is this? Hmm, this is, this is an unclear energy. Okay, where are you coming or going? What are you doing? We're going to leave you there, but keep an eye on that. Uh, guys, if you haven't checked out the October reading as yet, the full October reading, please go ahead and check that out. Also, it's always good, at least with my readings, because they continue to unfold over time, is what I've found. Um, it would be good to go back and re-look at it again and see how things are developing and, you know, all of that good stuff. We'll go here. Lessons are being learned right now. Um, in this week. This is what I'm getting. Here we have an invitation to connect. What I'm getting is something isn't as dead in the water as you think it is. I do see one, two, two times before that you may have had some type of um, uh, checkpoint, it feels like, related to whatever this thing is. One, two, three. But third time is a charm. Now, whatever happens at this third time, it's a meeting of some sort or it's a uh, they're saying, the guides are saying congratulatory efforts are being made. Okay, they're, <laughs> they're so funny. They're like, we're trying to get through to you guys to say you've done it. You've, congratulations, you've done it. You're, you're okay, you're safe, whatever. Now, that means um, your guides may have really been trying to let you know, basically, hey, you're out of the storm. The storm has already passed. Why, why are you so stressed out? But of course, you may not, you may hear it, but you may not necessarily believe it or put much weight on it, especially if you are still registering yourself as being in a, an actual waiting period or some type of, um, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, int what? Gosh, I, the, the word is escaping me. Ah, okay, I'm going to let it go because you guys know I like to, I, I'm the dog of the bone and I like to just <laughs> sit here for 20 minutes and try to remember that word. Um, but anyway, you're in uh, um, middle phase. <laughs> Arr, okay, <laughs> I'm letting it go. But anyway, so Spirit is saying that it feels like some new contracts and new documents are being uh, written up for you at this time. Uh, so all of that will come to mind, they're saying, in... Yeah, uh, yeah, so in this month or whenever you're watching, okay? So that's kind of a good thing there, but it's very much, what is this card wants to come in? But this card just tried to come out the, oh, they're saying luxury card. Okay, all right. I, I wanted to finish that thought, but they're moving me on. So what they're saying is luxury card. They're saying whatever has been going on has been a really big lesson, three minutes, 27 seconds. That's my birthday time. <laughs> Um, okay, they're saying it's been a really big lesson in um, number one, staying in faith, number two, having gratitude. Um, so this is kind of that energy, whatever it is that you're going through, the rough patch they're saying is almost over, but at the same time, they're like, it's mostly over, but uh, there's still a little bit of a way to go. This is the destiny card, and this card here is just showing how much you are loving or enjoying something this is emotional fulfillment so what spirit is saying when they brought both of these cards out is basically luxury this has been about you seeing how you've been in a state of luxury an ex expanded extended state of luxury so maybe a lot of you may have gone through some type of risk of some sort something may have been taken from you or it may appear to have been taken from you could be a relationship it could be anything right but spirit is saying this is been about having you have faith in um, divine providence, but also in getting you to see, what, and they're showing the baby's face, see, the eyes see, getting you to see um, your blessings, what it is that you've, what it is that you've had in your life. And, you know, um, sometimes we get a little complacent, you know, with what it is that we have. And, you know, that is part of human nature. Human beings are naturally complacent. That's just how it is. Um, but 
Spirit is saying, you know, <laughs> sorry, I'm just hearing not today. Oh my God, so bad. Anyway, let's take a look <laughs> at what other energies are happening. Why, yeah, why was the now card very shifty? I remember it was a little shifty earlier. Hmm. Okay. So in this, in this week as well, not only will you be wrapping up some things and some perspectives will be coming in, but it also looks like spirit is going to be helping you to re helping you to redirect yourself, but also helping to redirect you to where it is that you need to be. The image that they're giving me or the vision that they're giving me, which is a good analogy is imagine all of these people. Um, let's say it's an orientation day. So, um, sometimes in certain in universities around the world uh, all of the students will come and on that orientation day they, they'll all sit their exams or some type of or, or they will all come to fill out some paperwork or just whatever and then after that they'll be um, they'll break out into groups and be allotted or directed into their respective places whether it's well you're in this department so you, you, or you're interested in this department so we're going to usher you over here and you're interested in that and so you're there or we want you in here and so you're there so i'm seeing that so this right here is showing me that uh after all is said and done you're going to be redirected to where it is that you need to be it says spiritual service so for a lot of you this will be about getting started on some projects the creative projects that you've had in the bin kind of waiting. Um, and I do feel that some of you have wanted to get started on some creative projects, but it just never seemed to be the right time. And for some of you, you know, you've just had ideas, but you haven't really started on them. So either way, spirit is going to be uh, pushing you into the right direction. But they're saying that really um, why this card, thank you, was so shifty, the now card, is because uh, you still have a decision to make. Some of you are, are not allowing yourself to that's what it feels like the energy feels like this some of you are not allowing yourself to mm, to the new thing because you're you still haven't buried the past quite literally um well oh god i hope that's not literal what are you guys burying but anyway none of my business um but uh you haven't you know buried the past this guy looks like he's burying something or he's um they're grounded with something that you know has to do with the earth but the guides are saying you need to let go of something from your past okay something from your past now listen listen i know your first thought is oh my god no not nathan or you know or sherry or or you your you, your first go-to is that it's a person yeah see there may be a person that you know spirit is also saying hey man you need to let that person go but what you what a lot of people fail to realize is is that it has nothing to do with the person or the place or the thing or whatever it's the energy the energy is what we are releasing the toxic energy is what we are releasing so think about it this way what we see in the physical these physical um, manifestations are built upon like let's say an energetic template which has a physicality of its own but in this dimension it's not physical right we, where is it where is it but um somewhere in another dimension it is in a non-physical dimension it is physical in and of itself it's like a template and when you have that energy uh in your field it it gives off a certain vibration that vibration or that frequency calls to it physical things in this physical dimension to be built upon it so as above so below and so therefore when spirit is talking about clearing out your energy letting things go uh, purging all that means is they're asking you to declutter and get rid of those energies those thought patterns those emotional things get rid of the energy and that's a great thing because it's like taking out the low stuff the low vibration the fear-based stuff out of your energetic field what that does is it lets your energetic field move up higher it's a weeding out process right well really it's an integration process you're healing and then you're integrating but the the, the the very difficult part for us in this dimension is that it means that once that template is no longer there or that or that um structure that non-physical structure that energetic structure is no longer there all of the things that were manifested upon that in other words all of the people places things and situations that manifested because they vibrated like that 
can no longer attach. There's nothing there for them. So they end up falling away. That's when we start uh, uh, changing jobs, moving locations, uh, relationships end, friendships end, um, businesses change. Now, how those things come to a close really depend on quite a few factors like um, egos, right? Or it could just, in, it could, so someone will be like, you don't pay attention to me, I'm out of here. And then you st storm off and you never talk again or, or you guys have a fight or, or it could be something as simple as, oh my God, we keep trying to meet up, but gosh, I know, right? Yeah, we're just playing phone tag at this point. Yeah, well, hopefully we can meet up one day and then you finally get a chance to meet up and then the flat tire happens, you can't meet the person. It's either way, the point is the, never, the two shall not meet because there's no energetic vibration for it to occur. All right. Now, if that person, place, thing or situation has it within them to um, change its, its vibration so that it can become a vibrational match to the you that is now the new you, then there's no breakup. There's no loss of job. There's no whatever. You see what I mean? 11, 11, 11 minutes, 11 seconds. I was just about to say this is all about alignment, 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 alignment. So spirit is saying that in this week, uh, something will be, you know, coming to fruition, things will be going well, you're, you know, but they're going to be trying to align you with something, but you've got to allow yourself to move on from holding on to this past thing or this idea of this past thing. For some of you, this thing may no longer even be there anymore, but your attention to it and your inner desire for that fix, that fix, that energetic fix, that was underlying that person, place, or thing, or situation is what's keeping you kind of stuck. So that's why spirit is saying they're they're blowing you. They're like they're trying to blow you into that. But um, you have to help with that as well. Okay. Look at this. Thirty-eight is it's eleven. It's alignment. Now spirit is is asking me to mention that for some of you. Yeah, yeah, for so they're saying a, a good way to assess or to test whether you're still attached to somebody or something. They're saying, first of all, get honest with yourself. There, you, no one's ever going to disparage you, your honesty, right? So honestly, look at this card. This is you, super cute. They're saying, and this on and, and your honesty is part of the progress forward. They're saying, if you're not being honest to yourself, then you're not moving forward. <laughs> pretty, pretty simply put. But look, this is you, super cute. You're receiving this contract from the angels, right? Your angel's like, okay, now you can go down that path. I don't know if you can see, but there's a little path right there. That, and there's somebody's head in your future, right? Let me see if I can, okay? Now, Spirit is saying, if they were to say, yes, somebody is there for you, this somebody representing a person, could be representing a, a place, a thing, an opportunity, a situation, whatever, right? It's there. If you are hoping, if you're seeing on this person a little hope for somebody in particular from your past, then that means you're not over it yet, okay? That's your quick calibration test. If you're still thinking about the old workplace, you're not over it yet. If you're still thinking about the home that you wanted, you're not over it yet. So Spirit is saying you need to assess what it is that you're actually carrying within you, even though you say, well, I'm over that person, whatever, I'm over this, I'm moving on, and this and that, you can tell yourself, but on a subconscious energetic level, you're not. And energetically, the things that are coming to you are based off of what you're carrying within your energetic field, not what your conscious mind is choosing to tell itself in order to sleep at night, okay? <laughs> you know, listen, we're, we're, we're no spring chickens on, the, on these calls. I myself, I'm 39, I'm hitting 40 in March. So we know what it means to try to tell ourselves things and it's just not the truth, okay? So if you feel the truth is that you're still holding on to someone, still hoping that they turn out to be the person in the end, still hoping that a certain job will work out or just whatever, it's understandable, but they're saying um, allow for, you know, allow for some malleability here, some flexi flexibility so that you can be ushered into the right the, the correct place. Yeah, directed <laughs> directed into the right place for you. Because a lot of times we want to have a certain thing with us, person, place, thing, or situation with us, a certain reality. But 
it's it just doesn't align with our healthy nature now i know this sounds strange but for people who do the inner work they understand that at some point they get to a place where they're like oh all spirit was asking me was to get more active the quick example get more active walk 20 minutes a day at least um do some yoga uh make sure that i eat rainbow rainbow foods you know the colors uh that, that i'm getting three square meals a day make sure that i'm sleeping so so much a night you know these are things that in today's world can be very difficult to do right but you know with the timing and just the commitments that we have but then you start actually doing it and then you start it, it starts to change your energy your constitution everything your physicality your mind is sharper your 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 thoughts are more clear your your expression is coming out a lot better you're less scattered you you're feeling stronger and 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 your core is, is more grounded and when you're in that place you look back and you're like oh my god wow i'm feeling good it could be even like a month later because that's like that's like food for the tank right a month later and then you start to realize Oh, I do still kind of like this person or whatever, but I could see why this wouldn't work out. Because me in my healthy state, I, I can't with this person. This person's lifestyle, this person's way of approaching um, other people, they, the way they think about themselves. I'm now seeing it because I'm more in a healthy state. I see them and I realize, oh, that wasn't actually healthy. But you see, that's where you were at the time, right? I just went here. I went to go here and my hands were like here. Now, that's where you are now, Spirit is saying. But that's where, but in the future, you will look back and be like, oh my God, that's where I was. And so when you are in, um, let's call it a compromised state where your health is not at, at optimum. And when I say not at, uh, health is not at optimum, I'm not talking about if you have health challenges. I'm talking about your approach to self-care right? And self-worth and self-value. If you're not operating in a healthy spa space in that way, you can consider yourself as having a compromised uh, health, what, view, outlook, whatever, health practice. And when you're in that compromised state, you're not attracting people, places, things, and situations that are suitable for you. Now, once you make that jump to, to wherever it is that spirit would love you to be, where your higher self would love you to be, where you would love to be once you actually get there, that's when you can um, take a look around. And of course, you can hope that whatever that person, place, thing or situation is, is malleable enough to meet you where you are. But many times you will find that it's not because some people don't want to change. They don't want to grow. They don't want to find themselves in a fetal ball on the floor crying because they realized one of their shadows. They don't want to look at their dishonesty and, and, and um, they don't want to think bad thoughts about their parents or their family members uh, when in fact they're actually just looking at behavioral patterns that are not healthy for them or for their family members or their friends, you know? Um, so this is about um, rapid and radical honesty with the self and when you the more you heal yourself the more you are going to want to surround yourself with those kinds of people because it's going to become uncomfortable not for other people but well for other people but for you it's going to become uncomfortable for you to continue to stay in that space if, if you were just hanging out and drinking all the time with your buddies guess what when you start getting your healing energy on and you don't do that anymore what do you think is going to happen? Suddenly you're going to see, wow, this person has so much potential. They're, they're such great artists, but this is what they do. They could be making more money. They could be more efficient. They could be all sorts of stuff, right? But anyway, this is a, a journey that we're going on. Oh, look at that. Two of Cups. Spirit is saying Two of Cups here on the Spiritual Service. The Spiritual Service card also representing the healthy you, right? Once you've done your thing and, and they've kind of directed you to where you need to be, look at how even the blue colors match here. And the blue colors match here at the Destiny card. Um, Spirit is saying that you will not be alone. Not only will you not be alone um, at the destination that you're going, but you're also not going to be alone along this process. And you will not be making progress alone either. So people will be joining you. Wow, look at this. <laughs> Were we just talking about an artist? Is somebody on here an artist who drinks a lot? Love you. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe. We're just going to keep that there too. <laughs> Spirit. They're getting out of here today. 
Um, six of Cups, look at that. You won't be alone. Somebody needs to hear this, the Six of Cups. That's that friendship. And it's funny because, yeah, it's, it's really cute because I'm seeing this arrow up and it kind of wants, I'm thinking, oh, look, it comes over here, back here. But no, it comes and it curls up, right? It's more in line with this. You liberating yourself, right? And it's like, then you realize, oh, I wasn't alone at all. Hmm. Let's pull a few more cards. Whoopsies. <laughs> Okay, sure, sure. Let's see if those cards want to work with us. Wheel of Fortune, yeah. The wheel is turning right now. There, they just said in your favor. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> now, you know, me jumping in to be like, but wait a minute. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor, the guides say. But of course, I would just like to step in here, Janelle Bean, to say, um, Remember, in your favor means in your favor, hands down. But you have to ask yourself, do you know what your favor is? Maybe you think your favor looks like this or it looks like something else. But Spirit is like, no, you have no idea what fa real favor is. Have you? <laughs> that reminds me, do any of you guys watch Rick and Morty? Oh my God, love that show. Anyway, there was this one episode. <laughs> Rick and Morty, oh my God. Um, there was this one episode where... Um, Rick tells Morty he's never experienced true level. True level, you know, when you're hanging a photograph or a photo and then you take it, the level, it's a, oops, it's called a level and it looks like this, well, not like that, but, and it has a little bubble in it, so a, a little air bubble, so that when you move it like this, the air bubble moves, right, to show you, and, and ideally it's at level if um, the bubble's in the middle. So it helps you to orient something so it's balanced. But he's like, whatever, Rick. And then he's like, I, I'm going to show you true level. And Rick goes and builds this. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> builds basically a platform. Where, so, and he puts, um, he put, that's built to the specifications of true level. And Morty steps onto it and basically has this orgasmic experience. <laughs> and then he has to go to school. So like, um, he starts to go through some withdrawal symptoms basically because now he's no longer on the little level, the level platform. Anyway, it's just so ridiculous. If you don't watch Rick and Morty, please do. It's funny. But anyway, the whole point here is that spirit is saying you don't know what true favor is. So I want the truth. You can't handle the truth, <laughs> basically. So my thing, what I was stepping in to say is please let the guides help you to see what um, true favor is to let you really understand that know that whatever it is that you're going towards is going to be filled with favor look at this eight of pentacles seven of pentacles right these cards are just beautiful by the way look at this when I see the seven of pentacles it's like it, it, it's about harvest but what I'm seeing here is our Lord Ganesha how cute so cute is actually holding a key in his hand it's not here but in my spiritual eyes he's spiritual eyes he's holding a key to a big storage where all of your favor is right and here's him here's him again or you know multiples of him waiting here on the eight of pentacles while you while you work right now you're working you're working right now and here he is he's like your overseer watching you while you work with the promise that when you're done with what it is that you need to do you're going to come right into the favor he's like you done yet <laughs> he's he's like hey man he's like that that friend of yours who you work work with your work buddy and then work is done he's like hey man you done yet and you're like i just got to finish up the last few things and he's like oh you know so anyway long story short guys i'm going to cut this now so that it can fit on instagram but if you'd like to have a personal reading with me feel free to reach out if you'd like to have a live healing session with me via zoom you can also reach out all the information's on the etsy page that's where you read up about it and place all your orders as well um but listen this is the week all right let's 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 keep it going all right bye mwah, mwah, mwah.